you know what? People might look at you like you're insane for what you're doing. You know what's right. You know what your heart, you know in your heart what's right. I do the news. You know, my son gave me one look that let me know exactly what's going on here. I'll tell you what's going on. Some important shit right now, okay? I'm Marilyn Rice Cub, international superstar to the stars. Uh, hashtag blazer talk. Send me blazers, J. Crew. Yeah, I don't even. I didn't even need a cinch. I tried an earring. I tried a stapler. I even tried a piece of scotch tape. No can do, guys. No can do. Yeah, I look a little bit fancy. I got a, it's a celebration today, guys. I'm celebrating the lowest number of views yet on the news show in my feed. And number one, that shows you that the people that really want to watch it are there, you know? Everybody else go take a hike. Also, I heard that Instagram works like golf. The lower number you get, the better, right? This just in, uh, in a time where most people are hoarding and staying home, a couple from Quebec did the opposite. They jumped in their car and hopped the plane to Old Crow, Yukon, a town of 250, so remote that it's only accessible by air. We wanted to get off the grid, be safe, and be part of a community. When they landed, officials in Old Crow said, get the fuck out of here. I mean, I'm paraphrasing. The couple arrived and there were no jobs and no housing for them. The chief of Old Crow said, they actually endangered our community and themselves. There's no doctor here, so our small community does not have the capacity to deal with a very robust outbreak. What we do have is a large surplus of stockpiled traditional meats. So the unhappy couple left, but they did manage to secretly lick a couple of toilets on their way out. I will say in quarantine, I've been noticing the little things, you know, like when I get out of the shower, my cat hops right into the warm tub every time. And having this little moment with my pet, it really makes me reflect on the abject crippling fear that I may never have a job again. A lot of forehead means a lot of brains. It's not easy having brains and beauty. I'm Marilyn Rice Cub, international superstar, bringing you the news that's come across my desk. Um, oh, this one's a joke, actually, um, from a viewer. Did you hear the one where furlough, layoff, and unemployment walk into a bar? They couldn't get in. The bar was closed and boarded up indefinitely. Bloomberg posted an article saying for introverts, Quarantine can be a liberation, citing Shakespeare, Keats, and, uh, you know, I think they meant to put me in there as an example. So, I've been trying to use my brain for the past 14 days, and that shit is hard. You know, I just want to get back to the club, hit some booty calls, and trip on fine wine. Do I ever get to do that again? Things are new. We're gonna adapt. If I need to write some sonnets and rediscover gravity in a whole new way, then I will probably die trying. Drake was asked by Tori Lanez on his Instagram show how he was able to not contract Corona from Kevin Durant because they hung out right before he was um, tested positive. Drake said, honestly, a glass of wine keeps the corona away, boys. And no, no, Drake, don't do that. Don't say that. We lost another one. You're just like a flat earther to me now, Drake. Don't spread that, that that's, a cure, cure. That's not true. I, I didn't want to take you, not my Drake. I didn't want to take you off the pedestal, but you got to come down. Bye bye. White ladies like Drake too. Maybe more than anyone. This just in, a hundred people were surveyed and it turns out no one likes coronavirus. Not even one.
Guys, um, I'd like to close out by letting you know what industries are on the rise. Industries on the rise? Nature. Get into it. I've been Marilyn Rice Cub, and this has been the news that's come across my desk.